serious? Hello boys and welcome back to my YouTube channel, this is MX and TXS and today I have a player review on the one and only Zanetti. Of course I'm doing this review on my Auntie G account which some of you already might know how good Zanetti is but I thought it's free content, I already have Zanetti, I might as well do player review on him before I sell him so you know. It's free content, baby. Let's go. But yes, I'm probably going to integrate these matches into my RTG video anyways. So you might see these matches already in one of my RTG videos. So I'm sorry for that. But can you blame me, guys? I'm sure for content right now. So I have to do what I have to do. But yeah, let's take a look at Zanetti real quick. As you can clearly see, I already played nine matches with him. Six goals, six assists. So you, you can already tell that he is pretty good. There is one glaring issue. As you can clearly see the two-star skill moves. Now that is disgusting. But because I don't spam skill moves... It's not a major issue for me personally. If you're not a skiller, this guy would fit your team. All you need to do is the R1 dribble and that's it. This guy moves so good in game, boys. The full soul weak foot though is a bonus as he does have actually, surprisingly, really good shooting. As of recording, he's around 400k. So, you know, he is pretty expensive. But if you have the coins, I would say he's pretty good. There's definitely probably way better cheaper alternatives out there somewhere, which I haven't looked hard enough. But for me, because I did pack him, he has been really fucking good. If we take a look at the stats, 83 pace, 60 shooting, 84 passing, 81 dribbling, 86 defending and 78 physicality. The shooting, of course, you can clearly see is disgusting, right? But the guy can finish, which I don't know how it's it works in this game but i could have an 80 plus shooting card missing absolute sitters and this guy comes out and just blasts him in out of nowhere this guy's a beast in shooting i don't know how it makes any sense but apparently it does this game just doesn't make sense and just overall if you look at the dribbling as well it's not the craziest thing but he feels really good it's such a weird card like he doesn't like his dribbling doesn't look insane and his shooting is trash right but they're both really really good it, i don't understand this game at all boys his defending though is really good. His interceptions are beautiful, boys. Oh my lord, he intercepts the ball so nicely. The stamina as well is a bonus as well. He can run and run and run non-stop, boys, and get the ball for me. Oh my lord, it's a beautiful card right there. If we look at the playstyles as well, he has the power shot, which I don't really use. He has the jockey playstyle, the intercept playstyle as well, which is, I think, pretty good. Anticipate as well, press proven, and of course, the relentless one. I'm going to hop into three games, boys, and show off how he does. But before we do head into that, do make sure to like and subscribe, because a lot of you guys that watch my videos don't like or subscribe, which is extremely rude. So if you don't smash that like button and that subscribe button, you know what that means? Your mother stinks. Yeah, you heard me. Your mother stinks if you don't smash that like button. But yeah, anyways, enough of that. Let's get into the first game. Alright, Zanetti. I mean, you can do really basic skill moves with him, so it shouldn't be too big of a problem with him. Alright, Zanetti, that's nice. Keep going. Keep going, Zanetti. Show off that 60 shooting. You see that, boys? He can shoot. With 60 shooting, he can shoot. Alright, Zanetti, get that. Nice. Back to Zanetti, though. Can we dribble his old team? Yes, yes we can. No, no, that would have been so nice. All right, Zanetti, can we cook with you right now, please? Zanetti, oh my lord. And has dribbled the whole team. Can he finish? No, he can't. Zanetti, long shot. What was that? Back to Zanetti though. Oh uh, yeah, surely, yep. Instant goal. But boys playing the first game, we do manage to get ourselves our first win as well. Beautiful scenes right there. Words and Zanetti duo is fantastic right now. Oh, they're cooking. But of course, Zanetti is going to have to go sadly, which is going to be a very, very sad day for us. But the 400 coins, come on, man. We cannot lose out on 400k coins, boys. Good. From Zanetti, through ball. Good from Zanetti. That uh, somehow worked. I don't know how it worked. I wasn't even aiming for... Her. Yeah, boys, I don't know how the hell we managed to win that, but I'm not going to complain. We managed to win somehow and got a rage quit on top of that. So, yeah, boys, I played a second match with Zanetti as well. Two tackles done, 100% success rate. Some decent interceptions as well. Caught a player multiple times as well to take the ball off them. Pretty good dribbling, pretty good passing as well. Sadly, no chances at a goal because he didn't make those runs, but it is what it is. Overall, not a bad card at all. On to the third match. 
Zanetti. Oh my lord, Zanetti. He moved his keeper and it doesn't even matter because Zanetti just completely missed. Alright, Zanetti. Zanetti good through ball to Baba Yide. To Molina, who crosses it into Zanetti, who doesn't score the header, sadly. What the fuck was that? But yeah, boys, I have played three matches with Zanetti and it's completely C. He didn't get any goals or assists this match, but still didn't put a bad performance in. He had a few dribbles through as well, which is nice to see. A few interceptions, I believe. Some good passing as well. He did have two shots though, but of course I messed them up. But it's no surprises because he does have 60 shooting, so I don't expect him to always score. But, you know, still a pretty good performance from him. On to the final stats. But yes, boys, heading into the final stats, Zanetti did get himself two goals in three games, but I believe he scored two goals in one game, so, you know, it is what it is. The most noticeable parts of him is the defending, of course, his interceptions are beautiful, his passing as well, especially his short passing is really, really nice, he can control the midfield like a beast, beautiful card, good pace as well on him, good stamina, really, really good stamina, he comes really useful in the second half. He actually has a really good through ball as well, which is nice to see. His dribbling is not horrible as well, so you can definitely dribble through the defense if you really needed to. At times he does run through into the box as well so you can definitely get a shot off at least. His shooting of course is disgusting but he can finish still. Don't expect him to score but just know that he does have that in his locker that he can score a goal if really needed to. But if I had to give him a rating based on that he is 400k and it is the start of FIFA. Would I rather have 400k or would I rather have Zanetti? I'd personally pick the 400k. Because it is the start of the FIFA and this guy would probably drop eventually if I really needed to. I would go and buy him back. And for now, I would take the 400k and reinvest it, make more coins, buy a whole new team. Because with that amount of coins, you can build a nice team. So based on that as well, I will drop his rating a little bit, but not by much. I would give him an 8 out of 10 in my opinion. He does sometimes not intercept the ball, but I just think that is just EA in general, just being stupid. But overall, a pretty fun card to use. But is he worth the 400k? He's not bad at all. He is not bad at all. If he had the coins lying around, of course, go get him. He's not bad at all. You could definitely use him. He would definitely score a goal to good passing, good dribbling, good defending. But you could definitely use that money in a better way. But yeah, boys, I hope you did enjoy this review. Do make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.